In Oklahoma, if we're putting down an acre inch of affluent, we're putting down somewhere between 150 to 200 pounds of nitrogen. It's that nitrogen content that can make swine affluent a cost-effective and highly valuable fertilizer. Of course, it's one thing to put the swine affluent down on the ground. It's an entirely different thing to incorporate that nitrogen into the soil. 90% of that nitrogen is ammoniacal nitrogen, and so there's a potential for that to be lost into the atmosphere through ammonia volatilization. Avoiding this loss is all about understanding when and how to apply the affluent. Applying a swine affluent to a standing crop, it uh, reduces the wind speed at the soil surface, um, and so that can um, minimize the ammonia loss. So if you apply affluent um, later in the day or evening hours when it's cooler, the wind doesn't tend to blow as much, um, and the humidity's higher, you can actually reduce your ammonia loss in that way too. Of course, swine affluent isn't the only animal waste product that is useful as a fertilizer. Poultry litter is also widely used, and though a product with very different attributes and risks, producers must again be mindful in application to make the most nitrogen available to their crops. If it's applied to cultivated land, we can rapidly incorporate that after application or within 24 hours, let's say, and ammonia loss can be generally minimized from that particular system. And you're talking about basically you're going to till this in. Yeah. Right? So we're talking about a solid versus a liquid here for a start. Yeah. With, with, the, with the liquid swine affluent, you know, it'd be difficult to get out there within 24 hours after application because you've just irrigated and just like it's difficult to cultivate after rainfall event. Right. With poultry litter, we can apply it and incorporate it almost immediately depending on our protection or our production capabilities. And so that can minimize ammonia loss from a cultivated system. The ammonia loss from poultry litter is, is primarily uh, in a no-till or grassland system where you're applying it to the surface without So maybe not the best idea in those situations. Well, it's a give and take because, uh, you know, if you're applying it to grassland, then that's your production system. But you do have to take into account that ammonia loss as a reduction in the nutrient quality or value of that, that poultry litter. All right, well, good information. Thank you again. Uh, no problem.